Well, now that it's nice and toasty outside, you'll want to cool off by jumping in the pool or the lake because this heat can be a dangerous time for our pets. This morning, we're talking with Mike Palmer from Premier Pet Supply about how we can keep our furry family members safe. Thanks for being in studio with us, Thanks Mike. Thanks so much for having me. You picked a great week to come in. I mean, we could be feeling temperatures it's like triple hot. digits. Yeah. So crazy. we want to keep our pets cool. We do. You've got all the gadgets. We do. Yeah. So we have some things here to help beat that summer heat. Okay. But we also want our pets to enjoy it as and well. And have fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. So what we have to keep in mind though is if it's really hot, like we have these great like days coming up for us, but mm -hmm. you know, keep the walks earlier in the day yes. or later at night when it's yeah. a lot cooler. Yeah. Um, feel the asphalt, feel the ground because if it's hot to you, it's hot Ooh. to the touch. It's going to be really hot to those sensitive pads that they that's have on the bottom point. of their feet. So that's a good point. be conscientious and you know be aware of that so you know if they are chilling outside and we want them to chill outside good choice of words thank you thank you we got uh, cooling pads these are okay. non-toxic which is great is you just add water to these to activate them and they stay cool for a really long time wait do you have to freeze them first or you they don't just have to freeze them no you just oh. add water and that activates it there's no toxic gels or anything like some of them could have so oh. they're safe so they is, just sit on them they do they just lay on them their bellies is where they really like kind of like want that coolness and right. kind of help that you know keep their whole body temperature down okay so that's something that's really ideal what are these nifty things so this, this is like kind of cool. This is like something that you can do that you know can provide a little treat where you can freeze. We got a lot of options. Like the Kong's been around for a while. There's ice trays, but this I is something you can spread yogurt, peanut butter, pumpkin, oh. and freeze it. Okay, you know I gotta ask. What's up? Is it messy as it's you know? Well, you know the thing is, if it's frozen, they're kind of lapping it as it's sure. melting, so sure. they're cleaning it up and getting to it before it makes a big mess. So I gotta there. I gotta rely on Zen, is yeah. what you're saying. You could start by trying something like this outside and see. That would be key. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What what are what? Okay, this seems like a lot. So when going on a walk, make sure they're hydrated, right? So having a water bottle. So it does seem kind of big. What's cool about this one is it's somewhat collapsible. Oh, okay, great. So you just hook this to a belt. You can keep Easy. carrying this with you. Fill with water, and then when you're ready to create a bowl, do you that, squeeze, squeeze it, Got and then you. you get the bowl for water, which oh, is that's great. that's great. And different sizes, Different I'd sizes. See. There's a bunch of different options. We also have collapsible bowls that you can, you know, keep on you. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Okay. Um, but life jackets, if you're at the pool or at the lake, are really important. Wait, like for us? For the dogs. But don't they know how to swim? They do, naturally. I think okay. if their pads hit the water, they start to paddle. Like doggy paddling. And I think we just assume they're okay, but the thing is, they get tired very quickly. Oh. They can get fatigued, so making sure that you have, and they make them for teeny tiny dogs, they make them for really big dogs too. If your dog is this small, <laughs> I don't think they should be able well, to Well, if they're on a boat though, or near a pool, just to put it on as a oh. precaution is a good idea. I don't think we need to endorse them swimming all the time. Especially Are they hard if to put little. on? Or is they're it just not, as easy actually. as? Um, Velcro and buckles at the bottom. Oh. What's really important is it actually has flotation at the bottom of the mouth oh, too, makes so sense. keep the, the head up. Okay. So the, it's really important to make sure you have it fitted right. So okay. come to the store and. Like, oh, there we go. We've it. got this display right yeah. here. This here is like go. a little kiddie pool, but for dogs, and we've got a lot of fun toys in the store that All right, what float. Do we the oh. polar toy is great. Those are really fun. That's something you can throw we in have the this water. Too. That's this floatable. is heavy. It's heavy. It's actually very durable. Oh, and, okay. Uh, the dogs can pick it up and see it really easy in the water. Westpaw makes great toys, all recyclable, okay. which is great. I visited their facility out in Montana. Great people, great oh, company. Oh, really? All their toys are fantastic. And so, safe? Safe, very okay. safe. And they actually are very environmentally conscious and, you know, and they do a great job with providing that. great toys for dogs. So There's another freezing option here, I guess, right? Yeah, so the ice tray is bone shape. It's kind of cute. You know, this is silicone, so you can actually bake treats in the oven, but you can also throw some stuff in there and freeze it. So even if you have an ice tray at home, throwing mm -hmm. some treats in there, okay. throwing a little goat milk or bone broth and freezing that oh. makes for a really great summer treat. Adds keeping a little them protein, cool. too. Yeah. Yeah, with the goat milk. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Very safe, very healthy. Well, these are great options, Mike. Thank you so much for coming in studio. You Thank know, you. it is going to be hot. Uh, just some facts about Premier Pet Supply. Let's put that up on your screen. You've got so many locations, 13 across Metro Detroit. I just went to your one in downtown Detroit. Nice. Looking fab. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Love to see the representation there, carrying national, local brands. You've got a lot of Michigan stuff, too, which we is do. great. You know, we're small. We're family owned. We've been doing this a long time. We love to support small and family owned, especially Michigan based companies. So we do carry almost 30 Michigan brands in our stores. That's awesome. In addition support to all local. the national stuff. Love yeah, that. Absolutely. Thanks, Priya. Thank you so much, Mike. We'll be right back.